everybody. Today we're going to learn how to load GameCube games using the USB Loader GX. This assumes that you followed part one and two of the soft modding Wii tutorials. So first what you'll need to do is put uh, the Nintendo app onto your uh, SD card. So I'll have this archive, I'll link to it in the description, and you're just going to extract it, open it, and then you want to copy this Nintendo folder that has the boot and the meta XML file. So copy those and then go over to your SD card, go into apps, and then paste it here. All right, and I guess I had already put it on there. So once you have Nintendo on there, now go over to your USB drive. Now to store our GameCube games, it's a little bit different. We have to make a new folder. We're going to call it games, all lowercase, and then find the GameCube game you want to copy. In this example, I will be using, um, let's find it. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So I'm going to paste that in here. Alright, so once that is copied, we are almost done, but not quite. If you leave it as is, the USB loader won't see this game. What you have to do is actually make a folder with uh, what you want the game to show up as. So we'll call it that. And then drag the ISO file into the game folder. And then rename the ISO file to just be game.iso. If you don't see the extension, don't worry about it. You might just not have it enabled. Just make sure that you rename the file to game and type stays as ISO. And now this game should show up on our USB loader. So we are going to take our SD card and our USB drive and hook them up to the Wii and see if this shows up. All right, so once your Wii is booted up, what we are going to do first is open up the homebrew channel. We just want to make sure that Nintendo uh, was properly put onto our homebrew channel where we moved that folder into the apps folder. So we see Nintendo here. Let's go ahead and run it and just make sure that the game shows up in Nintendo first. Because as long as, as, long as we set it up right and we can see it, so go to USB, uh, make sure you can see that, and then hit A. All right, and you see uh, we see Zelda. Ocarina multi-pack. So what we're going to do is we're going to back out. I'm going to hit the home button just until I get out of this. And we're going to go to the USB loader now because this is the USB loader looks a lot better. And I mean it, it just be better to you know see all your games at one spot. So we're going to hit the home button and exit the system menu. And let's see. All right, go over to the USB loader, hit start. All right, and you see, on my example, I see the game. If you don't see the game, here's a few things to check for. First, click the fourth button. Make sure that you have GC games and Wii games selected. Something else is at the bottom left, click the cog wheel to open up settings. Let's just go over, um, some settings. I don't have this memorized, so I'm going to be jumping around. But looking in the loader settings, let's see. All right. So for the GameCube settings, see the GameCube. Uh, ah, I can't talk today. GameCube source is set to auto null, and the GameCube mode is set to Nintendo. And if we keep going down, let's see what else. All right. Nintendo auto boot is turned on. I don't know if this matters, but USB HID controller is set to on. I guess that's if, I don't know, maybe if you want to plug in a different controller into the USB. Let's see. Uh, memory, memory card emulation for the Nintendo settings is set to individual, so if you want to save 
may want to do that. All right, let's hit B to back out right there and then go to check the hard drive settings. Uh, make sure this should show FAT32 for the game install partition at the top. Um, what else is there here? Anything? I think that's it. Let's back out and go to the right. One more thing is go to the custom paths. Now, I'm just saving all the artwork and stuff on my SD card. You could change that to your USB if you wanted, but I don't really see any reason to. Um, if we go down here though, what's important is, here we go, the main GameCube path. So you can't really tell what I have selected due to the lighting, but the main GameCube path, make sure it's set to USB and then games. And those are all the settings that I know about that matter. So let's see, uh, let's click over here on the left just to get the image, hit OK, and let that go. All right, one file not found, who cares? We can see it now, so that's what's up, that's awesome. For some reason, I can't see the Wii games now. Let's just turn it off and turn it back on, and there we go, now we can see them both. I guess it's a little bit buggy, or maybe I just don't know what I'm doing with this whole interface. But alright, let's try to run Zelda, see what happens. I'm going to plug in one of these uh, Nintendo Classic controllers into my Wii Remote. Alright, start this up, see if it works. And you should get this screen from Nintendo booting it. All right, there we go. There's rumble feature. Rumble feature, I mean, it doesn't work when I just plug in a controller to the Wii remote, so might as well turn that off. But yeah, I mean, as you can see, it looks like it's going to work. So uh, yeah, hopefully this video helped, and that's all.